I'm Katie Marks, and joining me once again is Julia Nyman. I'm a mortgage lender, and Julia is a real estate agent, and we've teamed up before to do monthly market updates, and we want to sort of change the way that we're doing this, and we want to bring a value to you based on what it is that you want to know about. So we're going to give you an opportunity to comment and ask us questions. Um, we have friends who are doing similar formats and having tremendous success and adding a lot of value to the people uh, who trust them. So we want to add the same value to your real estate transactions and mortgage transactions. So I'm going to be talking about, um, I was posed a really great question, which was, how does refinancing benefit me, the consumer? As if, you know, refinancing is a one-size-fits-all model, which it's absolutely not. And so I thought that was a really great question and a really great opportunity to um, give some knowledge to people who want to explore the benefits of owning a home. So part of the benefit is building equity. Um, and so it allows you options down the road if you want to do a cash out refinance, if you want to ultimately lower your payment or pay less interest over the life of your loan. So how a, ben how a product benefits you 100% depends on what your overall goals are, both short term and long term. And so you have these real estate professionals at your disposal. Absolutely consult us, um, ask us questions, figure out what the best options are for you in both refinancing and structuring your purchase loans. Um, there are a lot of options that people aren't necessarily aware of. Figuring out how much cash you need to bring to the table, etc. It can all be uh, structured differently in your loan to benefit you. Ultimately, what are your short-term and long-term goals of this transaction and all of your real estate transactions? And so, Julia is going to bring some value to your real estate transactions. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and watching our video. So yeah, as everyone knows, we are creeping up on Thanksgiving and the holiday season, and as I'm sure you know, the real estate market does slow down a little bit for the holiday season. So I always get posed the question by my clients, do I list over the holidays or do I wait until the spring market? And it's an excellent question, and as Katie was describing in her examples, it totally depends on you and what your goals are with your real estate experience. If you need to move right away and there's a sense of urgency and you have to do it, then it sounds like we're listing over the over the real excuse me, it sounds like we're listing over the holidays and there's not much more we can do about it. If there is a beautiful house that you want to buy and you need to sell your house in order to move, sounds like you're also buying and selling over the holidays. So it really just depends what you want. Um, three reasons why it can be good to list over the holidays. One, there is less competition. So there are less, as I said, houses going on the market. People really don't want to have showings over the holidays when their houses are a disaster with decorations and Christmas wrapping and all that fun stuff. So they really um, would rather focus on their holiday events and spending time with family and loved ones instead of kind of dealing with selling their home. So they usually wait until after the holiday season or try to list before those holidays creep up. So first of all, yes, there's less competition with other homes on the market. Secondly, there are less buyers. However, the buyers who are wanting to purchase a home are super motivated. Same example for buyers. They want to be focusing on buying Christmas presents and spending time with their loved ones. And Buying a home can be a pretty stressful time. You have your mortgage lender requiring lots of financial things from you. You have an underwriter making sure that you have a good debt to income ratio so you can't be spending all the money that you want on Christmas presents. So there are less buyers, but the ones who need to buy over the holidays really need to buy. They're not gonna be messing around seeing 20 or 50 houses. They're gonna be looking at one or two and trying to make a really quick decision. Third reason is, yes, it may be a little chaotic over the holidays, but if you list, homes are usually a bit more attractive. They have really nice curb appeal with some holiday wreaths and um, maybe some nice different decorations, so it can be a really great time to really emphasize how your home can look over the holidays for someone else and really kind of show some warmth. So as we were saying, real estate is totally your experience and what works best for you. And we are absolutely more than willing and excited to meet with you and talk about how we can really make sure that your real estate experience is the best one possible and you really t make the, have the best value and experience that you can have. So reach out to us and um, we're happy to sit down with you and talk to you more and please ask us more questions because we're happy to answer them in the next video coming out in December. Absolutely, and we look forward to bringing you more value. Thanks for joining. Talk to you soon.
extensions in? No. No? Does it look like a half <laughs> Look at the bike has. <laughs> you didn't see our gong yet. Either oh my god, this. no. Oh, I think our viewers might want to see Could that. you please bring it out? No, it's like, you, you're in your, you look way you're better in your fancy that. shirt. You look way better. Get in there. Get in there. Do you, you don't want this in there, right? Correct? Yeah. You do? No, not oh, for the whole thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's the major discussion of today. <laughs> rock stars or real estate professionals? Nobody knows. I'm sorry, I'm the rock star. <laughs> who are you? Hi, I'm Katie Marks. That was so lame. <laughs> oh, first take. Do that again. Yeah, I think that was good. <laughs> Kill it. Which one should I do? Julie is like, okay. <laughs> <laughs>